Ooh, what's up everybody, Fearin here. So this is, we're doing a little bit of a late release on this video, but this is the tournament matchup from last season between APOC and Fantoba. Uh, going through a little bit of their defenses first, we saw the four star was Dark Siri, Vigor, and Misty. We'll be seeing a lot of that in the video. And then uh, they had a lot of LD spam in their five star, uh, a bit of this Sierra Lionel, uh, and a little bit of Byung-Chol as well. Uh, and then also some of this Chandra, Byung-Chol, Tessa. Um, scattered out where there weren't LDs. Uh, on the APOC side, we ran kind of an interesting, little bit different four star than what a lot of people were running, uh, but we ran a uh, <clears throat> Clara, Vitra, and Chami, which is a little bit of a throwback that we haven't seen in a while. And then our five star was a lot of LD spam, but Sylvia Byung Chol got a lot of wins and then some other miscellaneous as well. So let's get into it. We're going to hit this four star first. And what we ended up finding our kind of like premier offense was based around this double win dark with, I, I really liked Logan. Some people did other water units, but there's a couple main reasons here is that Logan, his skill three has the auto crit. So what we saw is that they were running a lot of anti um, turn two comps. So there was just a lot of damage on their side. And so these dark series for the most part, uh, either we were able to blow up or the offense just took a little while to get going because Misty doesn't do anything until the passive stacks up a ton. I think I ran a lot of different variations of this offense. I think as we go on, my favorite was probably Logan with the Delphoi with a Diaz. Um, mostly because the Oblivion from the uh, Delphoi was actually really, really nice for cutting this Misty damage. Uh, and then the Cha-Cha um, doesn't really have any innate tankiness. It's just you're getting the revenges off. Um, but we found that once stacked up, this Misty uh, could really do a lot of damage. And so just the raw output reduction from the Diaz, as well as him bringing the heal block and the attack break, I think made this a little bit faster and safer. But you can see this first time off, we were able to kill the Dark Siri pretty quickly uh, with the Cha-Cha as the dark tank and go through for our first win. For our second hit here, we are going to go into one of their LD five stars. So this is this Chandra Byung Chol. We saw a lot of this core. And this one was with the Audrey, um, the light Manon. So it's actually really interesting. I feel like there's a lot of buffs from Audrey and so Bulwark is a pretty obvious attempt here. Um, but this was, this was way more annoying to Bulwark than you would think. Uh, there's actually a decent amount of sustain between the Audrey passive and the Byung-Chul S2. And Bulwark being able to do the skill three through the hug is really nice, but there's no like real easy target to just burst through here because you have the double hug. So you can see here, I switch off and I start doing some damage, I think into the Audrey here, uh, but this is just gonna trigger the Chandra, giving the hug back, I think in a second to the Audrey, and this can really get stalled out. We actually saw this get pretty scary, especially if it's a high damage Byung-Chul on Destroy, uh, or if you get unlucky with some procs and the hugs just doing a lot for, for each other. Um, I probably could have also, when I'm at full health, like fished for some strips uh, on the, the defend buff, but I think we just ended up trying to play it safe here. We're full health, we're not really that scared. Um, and just trying to get some S1 damage in here to heal this out. But I think I think this Byung-Chul goes off here and you can see how like the sustain is actually pretty crazy. So you can see the the two units on each side were almost dead. Uh, and then they get about maybe like a, a quarter of their health back and he did like three quarters of my Bulwark's health in those couple of procs there. But there we're able to get uh, through the hug when it feds off and get that first kill here, and then this will end up being a pretty easy win from here on out.
All right, we're going to go into this four-star again. And I think I said before, this was probably my most favorite variant of this offense. Uh, I ended up moving the Logan onto Will for the second hit, um, just because this opener can actually end up being kind of scary if the Dark Siri is on violent and goes off. You don't have any control for the Dark Siri this first turn. Um, you're kind of relying on the defense break from the bigger. And the Misty is really one of the main damage dealers here to uh, funnel into your Dark Tank. but. Uh, a damage series on Vile can be kind of scary this first turn. But you can see here, man, that skill three with attack buff almost just one shots this dark series. There are a lot of, of damage builds here. Um, and I think I showed a little bit of runes, but uh, I ran a 286, so a high, higher tick Delphoi on Vile Nem. I didn't think the, the will was necessary here. You probably could even have gone like a crit rate build or something, but especially if you're not going the Cha Cha, then being the faster build on the, the, uh, Delphoi is really important to make sure that you're getting enough sustain. Um, but again, we're just going to go through killing off the uh, Dark Siri first. And you can see here that heal block from the Diaz really coming in clutch uh, to help control this uh, Misty. And then we're able to kill this off and get our second win against this four star. Is double L defense pretty interesting with the Kiara and the Virgil, and we're going uh, a dark lead plus Lucian. And the idea here is that if the Virgil is swift, uh, then it will just hit our dark unit, and we can still get our Lucian combo off. Still potentially a little risky if the Zen is swift, but uh, we are feeling pretty okay about our speed here. Next, we're going to hit into this other variant of the uh, Chandra Vengeful. And I saw a couple guildies use this. The idea is that you have a lot of the damages funneled into the Riley, so she's going to be getting her skill 4 off quite a bit. And then you have Tessa as a sole damage dealer with Lulu. Um, as long as you just have a very tanky Riley, it's going to be the main unit tanking. Anything on the side, it's really just the defense break from the Tessa. And then we get a lucky proc here. And man, when you get rid of that passive from the Byung-Chul, he just got one tapped. Uh, so this will be... We got lucky on the first turn with the attack buff getting that proc, but ends up being a very easy win. Going yet again into this four star with our same comp. This time we're swapping over to Triana over Delphoi. It's just because I only had two Delphoi's and only had enough skill ups for that many. Uh, Triana is nice in that you have the passive to protect the Logan on the first turn, uh, but I feel the sustain is much lower and the utility is much lower with less turns of oblivion or less turns of immunity and no oblivion. I think here I'm considering using a skill one first to get that attack buff up for the combo. Decide not to go for it. Uh, and then I'm kind of deciding here between if I want to heal block or try and attack break. And I think we're feeling comfortable that we have the cleanse up uh, to protect our Diaz from getting one shot here. And that heal block should, uh, since we knew the heal was up, stop the Siri from getting topped off. And then when our Logan moves again here, we should be able to kill this Siri uh, and get another win. Going in for our fourth time on this defense, I think in retrospect, I really could have optimized the Logan Reigns a lot more. I think I just felt like this offense was, it just felt so good. <laughs> I didn't want to mess with it when I was winning, um, but we were not max crit rate on Logan, which is not as problematic as you would think because a lot of the combo comes from the S3, uh, but missing a crit on like the S2 or the S1 is, is really quite annoying. But you can see here, we actually just land the full combo, and it's an easy 100 to 0 for this hit. Man, it feels so good when Logan does that. All right, and we are going in one last time to this offense. And actually worth showing that uh, this was my fifth Logan. Like, I think only the first one, maybe the second one was scaled up. So... Um, definitely don't need it on all these four-star units, even though it does make it a little bit safer. This last hit was a little bit interesting because uh, I think the potential, like the lower crit rate and like the skills from the enemy lined up in that I didn't just completely one-shot the series the first turn, but it was still like a pretty high damage series. So you can see that skill three is, is doing 60% of its health. Uh, I do get the swap off there, uh, but I think we run out of the 
heal block, and I think Vigor is going to either heal, yeah, heals here, so actually survive into like a second rotation, and especially with that anti crit, uh, me being the non max crit rate build feels a little bit awkward here. And then you can see it's a Vio Siri that doesn't seem like it's doing a crazy amount of damage. Um, but you can see that the scariest part about the Siri living longer is that it's giving time for the Misty to stack up. And you can tell here that this Misty is starting to hurt and my Cha Cha is not going to be long for this world. So uh, even though we're getting some revenges, the heal block uh, makes that really dangerous and we're able to stabilize a little bit here uh, and finish this out. But that one uh, ended up being a lot scarier. All right, and for our last attack, we're going to go back into uh, one of these four stars, but this time we had uh, knowledge that it was uh, not swift, so we just went in with the Julie and cleaved it up. We probably could have cleaved this a little bit more because they were mostly bruiser traps, but we felt like the bruiser offense was was pretty safe. Uh, and our last attack actually is going to be back into this Kiara Burgau. Uh, and we're going to do the same thing, but this time we're going to take a Dark Siri, who I'd forgotten about when I used Jolton before, but also serves the purpose of being a uh, speed lead, much better speed lead than the Jolton, uh, and a Dark Unit to target the Burgau. So there we go. That's our Tenno. Um, was a really fun match. Thanks, guys, on Fontoma's side. Uh, was was really good semifinals. Uh, I'm going to show a little bit actually here of what I ran on defense. Just for those of you who are curious, I think this is really uncommon uh, to see kind of for the attorney level people are running. And I ran three defenses. It was a Sierra, uh, Lionel Destiny, a Carcano, Laura, uh, Savannah, and then this Chandra, Sigrid, and Odin. And all, all three of these offenses, or all three of these defenses were just built to be super traps. So... Uh, specifically built to, to counter one specific type of offense. Uh, we did not get any wins this time, but better luck next time to me. Thanks again, everyone, for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.